Hello, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, before we get into the vlog, I wanna say that I am fully aware of the fact that I have been MIA on YouTube and Instagram and kind of all of the socials, and I will update you all on that in the future. I've just gone into the post office and I have sent a box because I ordered an air purifier on Amazon and it came with US plugs and not New Zealand plugs, which never happens. Normally when I order something to New Zealand, it comes with the right plugs. This time that did not happen. And I could have used an adapter, but sometimes with bigger appliances that require more power, it can actually break the, the machine like as soon as you go to plug it in. So I just decided I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna return it. I ended up finding a better air purifier. I just stopped in to the pharmacy to pick up a couple of things. I'll show you guys what I got. And then I went into a little cafe because I wanted just a little snacky, snacky poo. And I got this juice that I've never seen. I've never seen this brand here. Uh, it's called the Juice Guys. It says Shake Me, which I did not do. Mmm. Pressed apple, squeezed orange, mashed banana, crushed mango, kiwi, and lemon, and spinach. Mmm. That is delicious. I also got myself a blueberry muffin. I stopped by the pharmacy and I got a couple of beauty things that I wanted to pick up. I needed a new blending sponge and I got one of these like derma razor things that help get rid of like dead skin and like peach fuzz and stuff, love this thing. It makes my skin so, so smooth. I love it specifically for like any like dead skin. So nice, but I got a little free gift because last time I was there, I bought two Antibodies products, which is honestly one of my favorite skincare brands right now. And they gifted me a reincarnation pure facial polish and exfoliator, which sounds lovely. And it's like a full size product. It's not like a little mini product. This is huge. Alex is at the gym right now. He was on his way to leave this morning and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna take you because I have a lot of errands I wanna do in town. We have one car right now, which I wonder if I'm gonna get a car myself in New Zealand because as you guys can probably tell, I don't know how long a lot of you guys have been following along on this journey, but when we first moved to New Zealand, I was terrified to drive here because it's the opposite side of the road and the opposite side of the car. But now it's like, I don't even think about it. I drive everywhere all the time here. I think at some point, if we plan on staying longer term, which we have no plans not to or plans to, like it, things are just we're just going with the flow of life right now i am going to start making my way to the gym because he should be getting out any second it's just around lunchtime i would love to go to this cafe we have in town called entice they have the best chicken caesar salad that i crave all the time and so i'm hoping alex would like to go get lunch when he gets out of the gym literally the moment i said that he texted me I could just sense it. We both just ordered Caesar salads. It's easy to underestimate the complexity of making a good Caesar salad. Truly. Plenty of people offered Caesar salad, but there is a difference between. Oh, definitely. When you find a good Caesar salad, you just gotta, you gotta hone in on that. Fun, fun fact for the vlog, uh, the original home of the Caesar salad is not in Italy, it's in Tijuana, Mexico. Which is so crazy. I would have never guessed that yeah. because you think of it as Caesar salad. Like you think it's it sounds super Italian. You can get it at most Italian restaurants. It's made in a hotel in Tijuana, a nice fine hotel in Tijuana, Mexico. Was the hotel like Italian? 20s or 30s. I'm not sure. I don't because know. Because now it's all in, in, up in Italian. <laughs> yes. I've just taken off my jacket. I feel like that needs to be documented because the last couple of days have been freezing all of a sudden. We're like, ooh, we're moving into spring a little bit. Although August is still considered winter here, but I was like, we, we just we just kept saying like, oh, we gotta get through July because it's the coldest month. And then all of a sudden, first of August, it was like, freezing. Um, 
New Zealand is a big coffee country. They love their coffee. They also have a drink here called the Flat White. You can find it on the menu at a Starbucks in the United States, but it's not the same thing. It's got something to do with the consistency and the frothiness of the milk. There is a little bit of a battle between Australia and New Zealand, as always. Both big coffee cultures. Both claim to have invented the flat white. It's done equally well in both places, and uh, I'm a fan. The Caesars have arrived. Oh. We've just arrived back at home. Lanka is sniffing me because he's just like, where have you been? Because there was a corgi. We started talking to a lady at lunch and she had a corgi and I was giving the corgi a bunch of love. And so Lanka's sniffing me going, where have you been? We stopped by the grocery store, a grocery store that we don't normally go to, but it was right next to the cafe. So we popped in, we didn't need to do a whole grocery shop, but we wanted, broccoli, which was the main thing. So we went in and we just, you know, caught a bag of brassicas. We've got some cauliflower, broccoli, some red cabbage as well. And then I picked up this, I don't know why I saw it. And I was like, that looks so good to me. It might not look good to you guys, but Lewis Road Creamery is a really nice, um, a kind of like milk and butter and ice cream company here, essentially like dairy. And they have, um, this chocolate milk, which looked so good. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that. And then we just got some regular organic milk. That's not the normal milk that we usually get, but again, we were at a different shop that we don't normally go to. And then Alex got some cacao and coconut keto granola, which sounds really lovely. And then I've been just like living off of bananas lately. So some more bananas and then some organic sourdough bread and some yogurt. So that's all we picked up today, but we did stop. Sorry, I have to keep you guys down low right now because I tried putting you up where I could stand up properly and there was just full sun in my face and it was like too, you couldn't see me. After the grocery store, we stopped really quickly because we had milk with us. We went really quickly into the carpet place and we looked at some options for carpet because as I've mentioned pretty recently in some vlogs, we are working on the granny flat slash sleep out. And we just had the plaster finished this morning with plastering. So he actually messaged us when we were out and about and said that he's just finished and cleaned up. And that means we can move into painting. These are my two options. We are going to paint first because right now the plastering was just finished, which means we can paint. The old carpet is still in there. So we won't have to really like protect anything because we're pulling that old gross carpet out anyways. So it's best if we just go in, paint everything, and then go in with new carpet. So I'm picking between these two. I'm probably gonna go with this one, the like little bit lighter one. This one almost has like a bluish grayish tint to it, which I'm not crazy about. I love like a warm color, but what I really wanted was the texture. I've actually been thinking about this because as much as I would love to show you guys a new renovation project every month, <laughs> It's just not realistic. Like sometimes I watch people online who can renovate an entire property in like five months. And I'm like, how are you doing that? <laughs> Cause the reality of the situation is like, we're first time homeowners and this is a fixer upper and we can't renovate the, this entire place in even one year. Like it's gonna take us time. We've lived in this house for, it'll be two years in September. And there's still stuff that we're, we're, we wanna renovate this kitchen, we're doing the sleep out first. It takes time to make a home your own and like customize it if that's what you're looking to do. And when you're doing a bunch of renovation projects, it's kind of a given that you're gonna have to like take a break at some point. I guess it feels good to show you guys the reality that is it takes a long time to renovate and customize a home the way you want it and it doesn't happen overnight. 
This is the current carpet that we are dealing with, which in my opinion is horrendous. We took a little piece out, but these are the two options that we're gonna be going with. Like I said, I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but I also feel like that one would be a little bit more forgiving. So we shall see. And then we're gonna put an underlay to make it like softer and warmer because this is concrete underneath here. So you literally have concrete as you can see here concrete and then like the thinnest carpet you would ever see in your life so it literally feels like you are walking on concrete good morning it is the next day i'm back in town again it's funny because the last couple of weeks i think Maybe I went into town one time, if that. Last couple days, back to back, needed to do some errands. Right now, I'm pretty excited. I don't know why I'm excited, <laughs> but I am pretty excited. I'm excited, but I'm also sad. This is Lanka's collar that he's had since he was a puppy. His first collar ever and it expanded a lot and he actually doesn't have like a wide neck at all he has a lot of fur there and like skin but like this fit him up until recently i feel like he's gained a little bit of weight recently i actually didn't notice it but a friend of ours came over and was like oh he's gained a little bit of weight and i'm like really so we need to keep an eye out on that for him but also I need to get him a new collar because lately I've been like kind of feeling his neck and I'm like mm, I don't like how this is feeling it's not feeling loose enough and it looks small when you look at it I'm kind of like how is this on a medium-sized dog but it's really sad because it's lasted him all of these years like he's had it since like I said he was a brand new puppy so I'm gonna go get him a new collar and I've took taken it off him he's in the car he's actually you can maybe see him moving around a little bit over there but I'm going to bring this in and kind of like measure because I don't need anything that's too much bigger I need something a little bit bigger and then we need to do some farm errands so we need to go pick up like some chicken feed and hay and stuff like that Lanka is officially spoiled. <laughs> it's been a while since I've spoiled Blanca. I haven't really bought him anything but food in a long time. I mean, he still has the little plush toys that we brought over from the States that all have holes in them and the stuffing is just completely out. Every night he goes up to his little basket that I have of like a couple toys of his in there and he will like make a sound. He doesn't really bark. It's, it's just him communicating with me. It's kind of like a I don't know, I can't do it. It's not a growl, it's not a bark, but it's like, he's essentially telling me I want to play with one of my toys. And so I go and I pull it out and he'll pull the stuffing out and then it'll be all over the floor of the living room. So I just stuff it back in. Um, and he doesn't do it every night, but every once in a while, cause putting the stuffing back in every single night would be a lot. But Alex and I were just talking probably like two weeks ago. We were like, we should probably do for a new toy it's been a long time so first off I got him this collar I really wanted a leather one like a brown leather this is like exactly what I was envisioning so I'm very happy that I found this yeah I'm a little piggy I don't think he's ever had a piggy before <laughs> and he's got a little squeak what's that what is this I also saw this and it's something I've wanted to add to his meals for a long time and it was on sale. So I decided to pick it up. It's salmon support. So it's got omegas and it's great for their skin, joints, pretty much everything. And this is New Zealand King salmon oil, which is really nice. It's local and it's pretty much a pet supplement that is super healthy for him. And he loves having like any other mixed taste he loves salmon but any it, when I add anything to his kibble to just like give it a little extra oomph he loves it he kind of hates bland kibble um and so I think adding this he will devour it and it's good for him we've just pulled up to the little farm store got everything it has dog stuff it has horse stuff it has pig stuff it calf has milk and meal lamb meal seeds seedling potatoes seed garlic it really just brings 
my country heart joy. All the things that you need when you live in the country. Like calf milk and meal. And also, I don't know why we're talking like this now, but <laughs> also have little bulbs of garlic so you can throw your garlic in there and there. Because we're Americans, y'all. We live in the country. We got two bags of barley straw and then some pellets for the chickens. What do you think, Blanca? Hey! Road goat. We're on our way home right now and there's this goat that's just always right here. It's not our goat. Uh, we're not really looking for a goat, but... Hi, friend! He's on road <laughs> He's got a little house here. now it's definitely gotten colder we had some sunshine earlier and now it's just chilly we are going to have dinner out tonight we are going to <laughs> there's alex um a little place near our house they do pretty good dinner so we're pretty excited about that we've been there once and we really liked it so we're going again as you guys can see i added a little art piece here and i put the mirror back <laughs> because I had the mirror up on the fireplace, like many of you suggested, and we use the top of the fireplace for our projector. So we watch movies there all the time and moving the mirror off there all the time was very annoying. We plan to get a frame, frame TV pretty soon. So that's gonna go up in that spot and then the mirror won't be able to be there anyway. So I, I like that corner. I added a little plant here, a little decor here, the light, a little mirror and it, it's a vibe over there. I'm, I'm liking it. That's all for this vlog today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the last couple of days with me. It won't be as long as it's been till you see me again. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> mm -hmm.